Hi and welcome to my little tutorial. I did not call this video Let the Blowfield sound like a PPG or a microwave because the Blowfield simply is not a PPG and even not a microwave so you can't let this little thing sound 100% exactly like a PPG or a microwave. But, and this is the good news, you can make the Blofeld sound more like a microwave or even a PPG than you might expect. And in this video I want to show you how you can do this. Okay, let's start with a completely new sound. Okay, so you have urinate sound with a sawtooth. Okay, if you want a microwave or PPG sound, you have of course use some wavetables. So let's go to the wavetables here in oscillator 1 for instance. First you have the normal analog-like waveforms and then you have the wavetables. And as you see, the wavetables have some numbers, but the first two wavetables do not have these numbers. They are just called wavetables. So what's the reason for this? It's quite simple. Uh, the, these first two wavetables, ALT1 and ALT2, are wavetables from the world of Q and MicroQ synthesizers. These uh, Q synthesizer series um, were actually um, virtual analog synthesizers, but Waldorf added wavetables as features for the Q and the micro Q, and they are just called wavetables. And the other wavetables from 1 and so on are the normal wavetables from the PPG and microwave synthesizers. The wavetables from 1 to wavetable 30 are the original wavetables from the PPG wave synthesizers. You can also find them in the microwaves, but they are originally from the PPG. And the next wavetable from 31 to 64 are wavetables which were added to the microwave series later. Wavetable 65 was again added later to the microwaves. And the last wavetable, 66, is a special wavetable because you can find it only in the world of Blofeld and not in the microwaves. These so called upper waves are a bit complicated to explain. These waves were taken from the PPG. Um, the PPG synthesizers were a bit different than the Blofeld because they had two oscillators but both oscillators had to use exactly the same wavetable so you couldn't have different wavetables on oscillator 1 and 2 like in the Blofeld. Especially the microwaves worked the same way so you could only use one wavetable and play it with oscillator 1 and 2 at the same time with different pitches, different modulations and so on but only one single kind of wavetable. So the Blofeld is the first hardware synthesizer from Waldorf and uh, concerning PPG, also PPG, which had different wavetables on oscillator 1 and 2. 
And because the PPG had only one wavetable at the same time, um, the people from PPG had the idea to put the upper waves on top of the wavetable you've chosen. So when you modulated your wavetable beyond a certain border, you were in these upper waves. And with um, this kind of modulation you could um, create uh, more different sounds um, by letting oscillator 1 in the range of a normal wavetable and putting oscillator 2 in the range of the upper waves. And the upper waves were always the same um, independently of what you've chosen as the normal wavetable. Okay, so this about wavetables. Let's try some nice wavetable like 47, which is this one. Okay, it seems a bit boring. Let's try it a bit lower. And uh, with this pulse width mod um, parameter, you can scroll through the waves of one wavetable like this. Okay, sounds a bit more interesting. Another parameter is this one, limit wavetable. It works a bit like um, the idea of upper waves. So, um, the idea was that uh, the last four waves of every wavetable in the PBG were always the same. Sine, I think, triangle, um, pulse or square, and uh, sawtooth. So that you could always use these um, analog style waveforms in your oscillators independently of which wavetable you choose. And this also works in the blow field. Let's try it. So. You put limit wavetable to off. And you get it sawtooth. And it's not important which wavetable I choose. You always have sawtooth. When you choose another wavetable, this is square, this is sine. And beyond that border is the normal wavetable. When you put, we have, for instance, a sign, and you limit your wavetable, you can't reach these uh, last four cycles. So, no sign. Okay, this is about this parameter, and then there's another parameter which is quite important for the wavetables. It's the parameter brilliance. Brilliance parameter um, modifies some kinds of filter, which is to reduce the amount of um, digital artifacts like aliasing. When we try this sound or this wavetable with our brilliance, you get something like this. Still sounds a bit lush or soft or boring. And now try the brilliance. Very nice digital artifacts. Okay, so you always have to use 
uh, a high brilliance value when you have uh, when you want some um, hard um, and rough sounds. Okay, this is the first part, and the second part is that um, wavetables were always modulated with um, some kind of envelope modulation. This was the case in the microwaves and also in the PPG, because the main idea behind wavetables was to um, avoid the use of filters. The PPG Wave 1 had no filter at all, because filters were at this time fully analog and complicated to build and um, you had um, a reduced amount of um, voices and so on. And the idea was to uh, make wavetables which were similar to filter sweeps with and without resonance, so that you could modulate your wavetable and have a similar sound as if you would use a filter. And to have similar results like these ones from the PPGs and the microwaves, you also have to use some kind of envelope modulation on the wavetables. In this case, I choose the filter envelope as a modulation source. And now we have some nice wavetable modulation. Let's try some other amp envelope settings. Very nice, I think. And at this point you can bring in also the filter a bit. You can also modulate the filter with your filter envelope. If you still want to have more punch in the sound, remember that you can still use the trick with the filter drive. Simply choose the drive model tube and set the drive parameter to around 20 and you get a lot of more punch. And if you want to have some more digital artifacts in the sound, you can use the sample and hold effect, which is this triple FX. You don't need any overdrive in this case. And play a bit with the sample and hold parameter and the amount of this effect. Okay, let's try some arpeggiator and scroll through some wavetables to hear some different sounds. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, that's all. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. Leave a comment if you like, make a like or dislike, and have a nice day.